Hey, property mobsters. This is Tracy K. Wood, the makers of Badass Investors. And I have a question. I haven't done a video uh, question and answer in a little bit, so I've got a couple to catch up on. But uh, this was a pretty good one from Bob. Bob's in Burlington, Kentucky. And he sent a question that says, I got a lead from Craigslist. That's awesome that you got a lead from Craigslist. It does work. There is a, I uh, just posted a recent um, article on the website propertymob.com about a Craigslist ad that I posted and actually got the same day a seller locked down um, into a contract. So I love that. Um, some people think Craigslist is really saturated and not the place to hang out, but you don't really have to hang out there. You just have to go there every day consistently and post your ads, you know, at least once a day and make sure that they're always refreshed and on top. Anyway, this question is, the spread is too thin to wholesale, but I would still like to create a win-win. I'm trying to set an appointment to see the house tomorrow. I told him that it, I'm told that it doesn't need much work. I'm looking for ideas. Okay. Um, this is a, probably a very common uh, uh, scenario that you'll run into is that someone will call you, they're motivated to sell, uh, but they don't have enough equity in the house to wholesale the house. So you need to have uh, some plan B's if you want. Is you know consider yourself when you're able to take a problem or an issue that a seller has and create a solution for them. No matter what, I mean, there in most cases you can come up with some way to solve their problem and still make money. Not everyone, and you know you will discover that you'll niche down to things that you prefer to do. Like, I don't like to do short sales at all. I hate them, and I would just throw them in the garbage. Actually, I refer them out to an agent and let them deal with it, and they pay me a referral fee because I'm licensed. But um, as a transaction engineer, as Ron Legrand likes to call them, um, you're able to create situations or uh, solutions for these sellers that are something other than wholesale. So one option, usually the next one I'd like to move to after wholesale is hotel. A hotel deal is where the property, they'll sell it to you cheap enough, not for mayo, but the seller will sell it to you at a discount and it doesn't need a whole lot of work. So, you know, it's move-in ready, um, roof's fine, central heat and air is fine, or air conditioning. Um, it's, it's good enough condition where you can get financing on the property. And then you get a contract with the seller at a discounted price and you sell it to a retail buyer. So you're not going to sell it to a cash buyer um, or an investor. It's going to be someone who is going to occupy the property. That's wholetailing. There's some details involved with that. They're a little different than just assigning the contract because lenders don't like that. But that's one option. Um, and then you can lease option the property from the seller and um, with the right to assign it or sublease it so you can create a nice monthly cash flow. Uh, we like money up front, money in the middle, money in the back. That's a lease option or sandwich lease option. Um, if they have a mortgage on the property, you can buy the property subject to, which is where they give you the deed to the property and then you take over their payments. And depending on whether they need cash or you know things like that, you have to work out the details with the seller regarding any equity they have. I like to do monthly payments on their equity and maybe give them a little cash. They're a little more sophisticated uh, deals, subject to's, but great way to make positive cash flow. So hopefully those three options, um, there are more. You can just get an option on the property. Um, you don't need a whole lot of equity or you know to, to get an option and sell it. There's several different routes you can take. But those three that I told you are like the next ones that you can uh, review your deal and see if they qualify for one of those. So hope that answers your question. I hope you make a deal today with that seller. You can always go to my website propertymob.com and ask me a question. I try to answer them as quickly as possible. I already did answer this question for him but I do want to do a video for you guys so you know that there's um, alternate options as well other than just wholesaling. You do have to learn those businesses and those models and how to negotiate and paperwork. It's all different but there are other options for your sellers other than just wholesaling. So you guys keep pushing forward and doing what you're doing and making some money. This is Tracy Kaywood with a Property Mob checking out. I'll see you later.